yesterday ah yesterday we were talking about complex random variables and we had seen a random variable z equals x plus jy so this will map an outcome from the sample space to the complex plane fine now let us consider so now let us see how is this different from so what we would like to ask is how is a complex different from two Sarit, can you please mute yourself? Thank you. Yeah, so now let us look at how is a complex random variable different from two real random variables. So first, uh, no problem. Again, no problem. Yeah, so basically this is the sample space and now the outcome x j y so the outcome is a point in this complex space and but equivalently Press Z equals fine. I can equivalently express Z as R e to the power J theta such that R is root over X square plus y square and theta is tan inverse fine yes sir this n looks like h so let's correct this tan inverse y over x so this and therefore also i can Sorry. What are the
Oh, sorry, not Z. F R. Fine. And uh, I can define similarly. I can define. fine this will have an interesting property that uh, this will be in the range minus pi to pi fine and uh, we will look uh, at this closely more closely when we uh, take the specific example of a Gaussian random variable, but uh, by the way, have you uh, done this two variable transformation in your probability course? Uh, yeah, like Jacobian. Like one, there was one question in our problem set, I guess. No problem. Okay, so you have seen the, you know the one variable transformation, right? Yes. Take the. So two variable transformation is similar. You know what the Jacobian is? Yes, yes. sir. It was not. Okay. Yeah. So, Vishal, you want to say something? Yes, sir. It was taught in maths. Okay. Uh, Jacobian was taught in math. Uh, during first, second semester, I guess. First okay. Semester. Cool. Yeah. So the fun thing is that uh, when you are taught these things in math, including matrices, you never find a use for them. Yes. So I wondered for a long, long time that uh, why are we being taught matrices? Why are numbers enough? Anyway, so this, so there are two, there are two ways of solving this FR and uh, F theta. So this is physics and uh, 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 mathematics is mathematics. So this is like physics and mathematics is mathematics. So there's a Feynman quote relating physics and mathematics, but uh, that contains a lot of obscene terms, so I cannot uh, uh, speak it aloud. You can possibly okay. Google Please mute yourself. Yeah, better. Oh, I should have muted him. He left. Uh, anyway. So, yeah, I should have muted him. Sorry. Uh, yeah. So, uh, anyway, where was I? Yes. So, uh, this two variable to two variable transformation in general. If you have have two random variables x and y and define w equals g x y and z equals h x y then f of w z in terms of w and z equals sorry my bad w summation 
for all solutions. is the set of all solutions of f say let's call it g of x comma y so let's define it this way the ordered pair wz is a function g of x y one over j i with j i being del W by del x, del W by del y, del z by del x, del z by del y. This determinant, the absolute value of this determinant, actually. So this is called the Jacobian. This operator is called the Jacobian. So this and uh, based on this, you can or using these, you can find the distributions of R and theta. And uh, now coming back, Z equals X plus J Y. then expectation of z equals what will this be expectation of x plus j expectation of y yeah I mean expectation of x plus j expectation of y so let's now talk about the mean squared value of z So expectation of Z square equals X plus J Y into expectation of X plus J Y. Fine, this equals expectation of X square minus expectation of Y square plus 2J expectation of x y right yes sir yeah so in case x and y have equal squared values this is imaginary, right? Yeah. This can be negative, right? Yeah, when imaginary part is zero. Yeah, so this is imaginary part is zero and it can be negative as well. So in re uh, complex numbers, there is no negative or positive, I mean, no, this this quantity can be a negative number. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
yeah so the problem is that uh, we physically or the physical meaning of mean squared uh, is that uh, comes from the fact that it is always a non negative number yes yeah so the problem is that physical significance of mean squared values is or comes from the fact that these are always non negative then therefore for complex random variables we define the mean squared value as expectation of mod of z square equals expectation of so this is true for all complex random variables that uh, the mean squared value we change the definition of the mean squared value and the mean squared value is defined like this okay okay and this you'll see becomes x square plus y square x square plus y squared because the complex terms cancel out now this makes sense that sorry now you will see that uh, this term makes sense that uh, the mean squared value increases so here uh, what would have happened is that the you increase the mean squared value of y and uh, the mean squared value of z would decrease that could happen assuming that uh, x and y are uh, orthogonal even in that case uh, what could happen is that you increase the randomness in one component and uh, uh, you'll see that uh, the mean squared value is decreasing which is uh, not right mm -hmm. but so this definition takes care of that so we alter the definition slightly and uh, define the mean squared value like this in general correlation between z1 and z2 is expectation of z1 z2 complex conjugate and covariance of z1 z2 is expectation of z1 z2 conjugate minus expectation of z1 expectation conjugate of z2 fine this yes. beast so this defines so these are some basic definitions for a, a complex random variable but uh, what you have to remember is that uh, for complex random variables it is always in terms of the complex conjugate that we talk about and now let us consider a special case complex gaussian so in general so i would write the complex gaussian as c okay this cn mu sigma square is a step away so consider a 
Gaussian or consider two Gaussian random variables. X and Y such that expectation of X equals mu X expectation of Y equals mu Y expectation of X Y equals Okay, so yeah, so expectation of x squared or variance of x squared rather variance of x squared or variance of x, my bad. Equals sigma x squared, variance of y equals sigma y squared. Covariance x y equals rho x y or rho simply rho rho sigma x sigma y so i can say that uh, rho is the correlation coefficient or uh, as bhavnik said yesterday pearson population coefficient am i right bhavnik yes, yes. Yeah, so I'll have to train myself for the Pearson population coefficient, but yeah, rho is the Pearson population coefficient. Now, so you, uh, I believe you have done bivariate Gaussian in the previous semester. Yes. Yeah, so using that definition, I can write Z of Z as so fz of x plus fz of x and y which will be uh, which will reduce to fz of z equals 1 over 2 pi sigma x sigma y 1 minus Rho square, fine. The yeah. determinant of uh, the covariance matrix. So we'll come to that form in a while. But uh, e to the power. So I'm. This is a definition. X minus mu x by sigma x, or rather write it like x minus mu x by root 2 sigma x whole square plus y minus mu y root 2 sigma y whole square minus negative of the entire thing minus Two. Just a second. Let me cross check this. Yeah, minus minus. Or uh, yeah, because of the minus sign, this would be minus inside. Minus 2j rho x minus mu x y minus mu y divided by Sigma x, sigma y. 
this this beast so there is a 1 minus rho square also like in exponential in the denominator 1 minus rho square yeah there is a 1 minus rho square sorry so over 1 minus rho square outside so 1 minus 1 over 1 minus rho square sitting outside that's why i want to avoid this thing anyway so since we have so this and this entire thing divided by 1 minus rho squared yes fine so this beast yes yeah sorry about this 1 minus rho square now sir uh, yeah sir if there would be an under root sign in 2 pi sigma x sigma y 1 minus rho square. so there are so uh, this is by definition and this is the product of uh, or these are two uh, random variables so you have to integrate it twice if you integrate it once so this 2 pi is a normalizing factor so if you integrate it once you get you if you integrate this exponential term once you get uh, 1 over root 2 pi sigma x so you have to integrate it twice so you have to have uh, the uh, square of the normalizing factor so this is a normalizing factor simply and uh, as i as i've said earlier this is by definition okay okay so because of this so now what i am interested in is uh, that uh, so the constant locus of sir yeah uh, there won't be the two right in the uh, x minus mu x into y minus mu y term x minus mu x into y minus mu y yeah that two yeah it be... gets cancelled sorry yeah. it's uh, the there would be a 2 there in the denominator and that gets cancelled yes there won't be a 2 thank you yeah i always uh, so i remember the vector expression and i always mess this up i'm sorry about that so but uh, what we are interested in or what i would be interested in is the constant pdf points so let's say that uh, i want uh, want that the pdf equal some value k or i am interested in i am interested all the points pdf is constant say k fine so i would say that uh, for that copy and paste so for that i want this beast to be to be equal to k fine yes. or rather after some jugglery i uh, change the constant terms and absorb them into this constant take the log on both sides so i say simply after some mathematical
after some jugglery i what i get is or I, why keep even this term so this numerator i just keep the numerator sigma y sigma x sigma y equals some constant say i'll call it lambda fine yes yes sir so now my question is what is this so this looks like a equation of a circle huh this looks like a equation of a circle uh, this is Or an a ellipse. ellipse 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 this is an ellipse so i will we'll approach a circle but uh, not right now so just give me a second this yeah sir eventually we want to express it in terms of z right no that is a separate thing okay so that what is, exactly that uh, i will come to in a while or eventually what we want to do is uh, in terms of z is yes we'll do that but uh, under some special conditions so i am first developing those conditions okay 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 so have some patience say so this is the x axis this is the y axis and uh, right now what i have is insert shapes 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 there is shape um, shapes So. so right now this is what this looks like so this is actually this point is mu x plus right and so only the real real part is an ellipse right like are we analyzing both of them yes okay 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 so sorry this is a uh, so this is the complex plane yeah yeah, yeah. got it got it yeah so and uh, this spread will be sigma x the length of the semi major and the semi minor axis or the length of yeah so the length of the semi major yeah, but, axis but 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 an ellipse there won't there won't be any term of xy right so if yeah, we so are there isn't like, a term of xy only the real part we are analyzing then so in a uh, so okay so i understand your concern your concern is that uh, you, when you talk about coordinate geometry you haven't thought of coordinate geometry as complex number or whatever you were taught in terms of ellipses in coordinate geometry you haven't thought of them as co complex numbers you have uh, thought of those as uh, real numbers only there's a, a real x and a real y you can okay. think of anything in the complex plane or the geometry which you were taught for uh, the xy plane actually works uh, the same way in the complex plane okay sir but if it works in the same way the whole left term should be only the x axis part and the whole right term should be only the y axis part right no oh, see so uh, any point in the complex plane is uh, can be represented in terms of x plus jy yeah 
fine so yes. what i am uh, interested in so this this line this black line this is the set of all points or this is the i want you i don't want to use the word locus okay but uh, let's so oops sorry control z how do i undo this okay. one node doesn't have undo oh here it is yeah so that's why i wanted to yeah so all the points which satisfies the equation ha huh. on this okay. ellipse are the ones that so let's call this equation e1 that satisfy e1 okay now you would see that uh, the semi major and the semi minor axes will be drawn with respect to the point mu x plus j mu y okay yes and uh, the length of the semi major axis will be or two root the, uh, yeah, two sigma length, x i won't use the word semi major and semi minor because that depends on the value of sigma x and sigma y but okay. this will be sigma x this will be sigma y and actually this ellipse will be slightly rotated i have skipped a step so i'll rotate this a bit okay so basically the imaginary part is rotating the ellipse no 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 the imaginary part is this uh, the so the correlation rotates the ellipse okay because uh, how do you have to plot this in matlab to see it for yourself okay but, uh, but uh, just one concern Le the left part like the real part is a standard uh, form of the ellipse right like x minus a the whole square plus you actually if yeah. you forget about let's forget about j right now okay. to illustrate okay, this. okay. let's forget okay. about j okay okay let's say that uh, this is a simple ellipse now this is a simple ellipse right yeah. no complex numbers yeah yeah now in this ellipse let me draw this again let me erase all of this and so now this ellipse let's start with the basic definition of an ellipse that uh, there are three parts so this will be an ellipse i don't know how to rotate it in one note so that's the problem let me do it in powerpoint and then i'll paste it here but uh, you'll have to try this out uh, for yourself so basically uh, we are trying to plot x and j y right uh, forget about j right now because j is confusing you so forget about j just uh, focus on x and y so so if i just focus on x and y this we can't write in the form of x minus a the whole square minus y minus b the whole square upon like that standard form we can't write it right this ellipse since we can't right. because there is a xy term we can't yeah, separate so, uh, it the, there the xy term gives rotation right ah, xy give, term gives rotation okay, and okay, ellipse okay 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 yeah that, that's what happened Thank yeah you. that's what i was saying that xy term gives you the rotation in an ellipse okay okay so now this will be this point is mu x plus j mu y this spread along the x axis is sigma x the spread along the y axis or one of these is sigma x this is sigma y and the rotation the angle of rotation depends upon uh, x y fine or rho yes yes the angle of rotation depends upon rho now 
in case we get rid of this row term or uh, so getting rid of row term means that if x and y are uncorrelated if x and y are uncorrelated then copy paste if x and y are uncorrelated then this equals lambda fine oh sorry yeah yes. this equals lambda and uh, in this case i again draw the x and the y axis badly though and here i can now align this ellipse like this because there is no rotation so this is simply sigma y this is sigma y this is sigma x and uh, what you call the center of the ellipse is uh, uh, mu x plus j mu y fine yes sir now consider the case when x and y are iid so here or rather yeah iid iid means independent and identically distributed So it would be a circle, I guess. Yes. In that case, the constant PDF locus forms a circle. so such a complex gaussian random variable is called a circularly complex gaussian random variable and is represented as with the so this uh this sigma square is equally divided among the real and the imaginary part it would be 1 by root times each right so 1 by root two times uh yes okay and because of that the pdf of a circularly symmetric complex gaussian random variable is fz of z equals 1 upon pi sigma square because uh, sigma x and sig now you look at uh, this thing sigma x and sigma y are equal so yeah. we start we started with this monster so now sigma x and sigma y are equal and are equal to sigma square divided by uh, sigma by root 2 okay okay so this root 2 and 2 get cancelled root 2 yes, from yes, the first yes. part root 2 from the second part those get yes, cancelled 
Rho is uh, zero because these yeah. are independent. X and Y are independent. Yeah. yeah. So this. Z minus mu Z. Root sigma. This, this simple expression. So actually the distribution of a complex Gaussian random variable looks quite similar to a Gaussian random variable. The only difference is this uh, The only difference is the pi, the root two factor. So it should be the modulus oh, sorry, of sorry. that, right? It should be not. It shouldn't be root sigma. It should be sigma. And it should be modulus. I yeah, mod, mod of this. Okay. Mod square this because uh, the real part and the imaginary part. Yes. Yeah. So this. So this is uh, this is how you define the. Uh, variance of a or this is how you define the PDF of a complex Gaussian uh, random variable. Now for this special case. Special case. If I want to write. Z or. Z equals R e to the power J theta. If I want to write Z equals R e to the power J theta, then I'll just name the distributions. R is really uh, said something. No. Yeah. Yeah. So R is. Uh, Really distributed and theta is uniform. If you have not done this in the previous semester, then I leave this as an exercise for you. Fine, because that this is this is a simple derivation, but it, uh, it takes up a lot of time. So you can try doing this yourself. So. In general. I now introduce. Random. Vectors. Because. We have introduced a. Random variable we have introduced a complex random variable. Now let's extend. Uh, our discussion to n dimensions in general a random vector x in i'll define this for complex as well but uh, let's now uh, focus only on real is sir if x and y are uh, gaussian distributed yeah then the theta I mean the yeah. z is equal to x plus i by theta or the <clears throat> argument of this particular complex number yeah. will be uniformly distributed. The uh, angle will be uniform. And the envelope will be Rayleigh. And this is for specifically when they have equal variances and, and this is for the uh, yeah, this is for the uh, yeah, th this is for the circularly sy symmetric complex Gaussian. Yeah. Okay, okay. And uh, thankfully, in most of the cases, we'll use uh, uh, circularly symmetric complex Gaussian. Or uh, Gaussian random variables have this nice property. Maybe uh, you, if we, uh, if I continue for the digital communication course, I will show you how to reduce any correlated Gaussian to a circular symmetric Gaussian. But that uh, goes beyond the discussion of this course. So we can but just it divide is it by its variance, right? I mean, uh, covariance. Um, divide, divide the. There's a, so there's an n-dimensional trick. 
leave that uh, so either do it yourself or uh, leave that for the digital communication course because so that would be you can ensure that you take our digital communication course uh, there is uh, i'll try my best because uh, what happens is that uh, this uh, course allocation depends on a lot of factors like uh, for the past 2 years 2019 and 20 in the winter semester no one else was ready to take that course on embedded systems so i had to teach it and uh, i don't know anything about embedded systems honestly just used to read the book and uh, vomit it vomit everything out in the class yeah uh, uh, random vectors so x is this and will t you know this sign this is this looks like the less than sign no sir no okay, so for complex no like, no 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 this is for uh, so this is used for vectors okay. and this is that each element of also oh, x uh, omega is an ordered x omega is uh, capital x omega is ordered and this x is also ordered each element of x omega is individually less than uh, less than or equal to the corresponding element of x fine yes sir and uh, just to finish the, the discussion of so the pdf of n uh bhavnik positive definite is uh, a positive definite matrix goes again beyond this but uh, for a positive for so po for a pd matrix you have this so this is for matrices no not i not i not i sorry you have a this so this was a positive definite matrix and uh, the, let's not uh, go into matrices right now for vectors for n dimensional vectors this is uh, element wise actually there is that's a minus lambda i for all lambda so let's not uh, disturb that each element and yeah so for chenal gaussian 1 upon 2 pi to the power n by 2 oh i will unshare it and reshare it unshared and so can is it visible again yes sir yeah so 2 to the power n by 2 sigma is the covariance matrix i have to define the covariance matrix so actually let's stop here because uh, 
for vectors i need to define some more things i was hoping to start random processes tomorrow but i don't think that uh, unless we go into details of this random vectors we will be able to make much progress so let's stop here just that uh, just let me define one last thing that expectation of x is now a vector mu with each element being the usual mean so you take the element wise mean how we deal with the the very the notion of variance and covariance here we'll discuss that tomorrow so we'll stop here then bye have a nice day hi sir thank you sir bye